and today I will be presenting DeFi, or Decentralized Finance. If you want, make sure to scan the QR code to gain access to more information. For today's agenda, we will be seeing an overview of DeFi, its market analysis, the different existing DeFi segments, investment risks, and future outlook. What is DeFi and what are its components? Decentralized finance, or DeFi, is an emerging financial technology based on secure distributed ledgers like those used by cryptocurrencies. The system removes the control banks and institutions have on money, financial products, and financial services. It uses blockchain, which is a kind of a ledger that tracks all transactions on a given financial platform. However, like any other innovative technology, it has its risks, such as impermanent loss due to volatility of crypto assets, rock pools due to malicious developers, and flash loan attacks. But its opportunities are unraveling. With DeFi, we have the possibility of yield for idle cash reserves, easy borrowing and lending arrangements, and you'll be stepping ahead of the competition by introducing this novel technology in your business. In the graph, we can see the number of unique addresses that either bought or sold a DeFi asset worldwide from December 2017 to July 4, 2022. The centralized finance users grew by 300,000 since early 2022, less than half the increase during the same period in 2021. This is according to a network crawling code that tries to measure the number of unique user addresses involved in buying or selling specific projects associated with DeFi. TVL in DeFi segments. In the graph, we can see the total value locked in five different DeFi segments on the Ethereum blockchain as of March 29, 2022, in billion US dollars. The most popular ones are in order, which are lending, DEXs, assets, derivatives, and payments. Crypto lending borrowing was the largest single segment of DeFi in 2021. They made up roughly half of the overall value locked. More on investment risks. Critical dimensions of risk tend to impact all DeFi protocols, though not equally. But this still mirrors the risk found in traditional financial instruments. Systemic and idiosyncratic risks are risks that impact a large part or all of the DeFi ecosystem. For systemic risks, we can find currency, regulatory, and blockchain risks. For idiosyncratic risks, we find security contract, governance, oracle, and cooperative risks. So idiosyncratic risks by nature tend to be unique to a specific platform, exposure to systemic risk factors may also differ per platform. DeFi has a long road ahead, especially when it comes to uptake by the general public. It provides many benefits, such as total control of your money in a secure digital wallet, instead of keeping it in a bank. Also, anyone with an internet connection can use it without needing approval and you can transfer funds in seconds and minutes. Investors will soon have more independence which will allow them to deploy assets in creative ways that seem impossible today, such as with the development of dApps, DeFi exchange, and DeFi wallets. This also carries big implications for the big data sector as it matures to enable new ways to commodify data. Thank you for your attention and do not forget to scan the QR code to gain access to more information about DeFi.